Hello and good evening and welcome to a, what day is it? Tuesday afternoon evening broadcast. Whoop, whoop. Am I excited? Woo! <laughs> We're so excited! Woo, welcome! It's a replay! Or you're live. Alright, let's get her done. I am in a highly mood just to lay down and go to sleep, but I cannot. I have to go do punishment tonight. Uh, uh, David Max, hello, Sharon, hello. I almost forgot what I was doing. Become the scene now. All right. It'll be time to go here in a minute. Tonight we have to go to a male wedding. It's kind of like a reception men's area. You've been to one before. Passion Puppy, hello. So at 6.30 well, you can go see us eat at a festival for somebody who's getting married. It's like the pre-marriage male. I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like a a male wedding party telling groom good luck, you know. Oh, a wedding. Yeah, I'm not thrilled about it. I don't really care about this shit, but you know. I'm definitely not into it. I'm just, don't worry, I'm not into anything. <laughs> I have nothing I like to do. I don't like to do nothing. The older I get, the less I just like doing nothing. The more I like to do nothing. Really, nothing is my idea of perfect. I guess I need to take my stuff to the... We have that in the Jewish faith too, do you? It's not really a bachelor party. It's like a wedding reception, but the men have one and the women have one. It's more like a baby shower. <laughs> it's a male baby shower, really. It's kind of an odd thing, you know. It's more a nice a male baby shower, almost. They're saying goodbye to the young man getting married. Everybody has something different. Yeah, it reminds me, it's just as boring as a baby shower. Saying goodbye to the young man. You'll see after a while. We'll go there about, we'll leave here about six. A couple hours away we'll be over there. Exciting. You know, when I used to like, did not mind doing all these things and going and doing stuff, but I'm kind of like a non-doer nowadays, you know. I'm really just not into it. Exactly. No gifts, blessings, and nice food. That's what it is. Well, I'm sure relatives give like an envelope of money to the, you know, part of the honeymoon, different things. Everybody sits around, tells the father congratulations, tells the son that's getting married congratulations. Then they all sit in a half circle and look at each other, and there's a big dinner and everybody goes home. Oh, uh, it's here in Jabal, so it's not far away. Oh, shit. We'll have to do a, tell him to run while he can. <laughs> it's not one of those things. He's lucky to find the gal. I don't want to go into it deeper, but <laughs> bless his heart. <laughs> bless his heart is all I can say. I've never been overwhelmed about any type of a wedding situation, you know? I prefer the courthouse style. Walk in, sign a paper, and go home. Uh, the whole entourage and the, the money spending is not my thing. But everybody has a tradition. Yes, Earl, I know you're here.
I should have came home and taken a nap first. I kind of screwed up. I didn't sleep at all hardly last night due to all the storms and the noise, so I'm going to be really tired. Got to go shake hands, say hello to a few hundred people, and then you can sit there. <laughs> Ryan, what do you say? I got married by a GP and had a big cock out in my mom's backyard. You had a big cock cookout. Oh, I thought you said you had a big cock in it. What do you do? You had a big cock in your mom's yard. That's weird. She hadn't even went to the bedroom for that. I read that wrong. Sorry about that. You had a big. Well, that's mighty bold of you, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> had a wedding and a big cock in a backyard. Now that's a wedding. That's one of them parties I've never heard of. <laughs> I read that twice before I even said it. I said, God, boy, you're a freak. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that's just interesting. <laughs> that's good to know. <laughs> No, no better place to have a big cock than your mom's backyard, I guess. Uh, I must have been in attendance. There you go, Ryan was there standing tall. <laughs> now that's a reception. <laughs> that may be a good line for a story. I bet we could base a whole movie on that. <laughs> that we can base a movie on that. <clears throat> well, <laughs> oh boy, we could lead to a series. There may be a special event there. Anyway, woohoo! Well, uh, Steve, what's up? Oh, Steve, you can upgrade your old computer now to Windows 11. They changed that thing where it says it can't do it anymore. Now you're allowed to update it. They just did it like two days ago. So now if you want to upgrade to Windows 11, you shouldn't have a problem. You're leaving Texas in the morning. Kind of sad. Well, stay in Texas. What's up, Malaysian guy? Uh, you need uh, matchsticks for your eyes. Man, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm a little burnt. I got off work. I came home. And I turned on uh, Daisy just for a minute to test it. And I got it working fine now on the Legion Go. <laughs> I was driving around and, I, and my camp disappeared. I wonder if he reset the server. Anyway, my camp disappeared off the map. I don't know where it is anymore. It's going to take for hours to find it. I have no idea where it is. Oh... Uh, Maybe it'll be on the map when I get back online later tonight, if I come online. My damn camp disappeared. All the shit that I saved up is gone. All that driving around, running across the whole map. This takes hours to do just a little bit of shit in that game. It's definitely slow. It takes hours just to run across the whole map, run back. You didn't really do shit. <laughs> and the car drives like it's a like it's on jello. It's hell to drive that car. Anyway. <sighs> I'm not getting changed. You're not getting changed? I just changed. I had on a white shirt from work, and I just changed into this so I can go to the wedding later. 
uh, wedding reception type thing. It's a wedding, it's like a, a reception before the wedding where the guys tell the groom goodbye and all the family comes to wish him luck. And then the next day he goes off with his wife somewhere or they're married and they go somewhere. We'll do it live, you guys can see it tonight. In about two hours we'll turn it on and stream from there. It's not a major event. Well, it may be, but you know what I mean. It is what it is. I don't know how big his will be. I've been to normal size ones, and I've been to where a prince gets married. That's unbelievable. It's here in Jabal. Some hall place. I don't know. The the directions are in my phone. So we got to go out by six. Tonight is their wedding, yeah. Tonight's the reception. I don't know the wedding's tomorrow. I don't know. They do the reception before the wedding. It's oddballs. It's done different than other places. They have like a male and female party tonight. All the men will gather to wish the guy goodbye, and the women will be somewhere else wishing the lady goodbye. And then tomorrow, I think it's the, a ceremony, and then they head off on, you know, it could be from a week holiday to forever. Some old boys, actually, his life's not coming to an end. <laughs> I think it's good for this gentleman. <laughs> Big, uh, it'll be good for him. Sound is boring. I don't really like it. I don't, the wedding thing is more just the groom and the husband set with the preacher type imam guy. I don't think they, and the parent, I think the wedding itself is a tiny thing. The reception is the big thing. They do it differently. It's actually smarter. The way they do it. You know, in America, we get married, then you have a reception, everybody says goodbye. Wow. They have the reception, then the husband and wife go off and take care of whatever they want to. They don't have to wait all day and watch a bunch of people at a party. The uh, the guy at our company, the CEO, his son's getting married. You'll see him all tonight. Yeah, you'll see them tonight. Good morning from Kentucky. What's up, Kentucky? We're in the great kingdom. The kingdom of the kingdom. Exciting. Take your gamer console with you. No, I don't really, you know, I don't like that thing anymore. <laughs> I just got through playing with it. I don't like it. Uh, I'm going to get rid of it, sell it. I don't like it. It's in about two hours. You'll yeah, just be back on in two hours. At six thirty, I'll be there. It's five or four now, something. Yeah, I don't really like that gaming console thing. I figured out you just need a keyboard and a mouse. The, the controllers and all that. Most of the games I like, it. I can't figure out how to do anything. So I still end up plugging a keyboard and a mouse to it. It's hell. I've gotten to where I, I hate a controller now. I've tried and tried and tried. I don't like no controller. And every game, you got to figure out the buttons are all different. I like a keyboard. WSD and everything is the same. And with these games and controllers, there's so many different functions. It's heartache. I hate controllers. I don't want to be no part of one. For the games I play. I'm sure games other people play, they don't have a problem. But for me, none of them are controller friendly. 
some of us don't like, I don't like game controller at all. I just like the keyboard and mouse. Yeah, that reminds me, I need to buy a wrist pad. I forgot all about that today. Damn it, I should have went and got one. Yeah, controllers suck. They ruin the game. They really do. With a keyboard, the commands are always the same to run, to go walk, to jump. They work good. The controller, I don't understand why that was invented. I guess that's mainly started with the console people. Yeah, anybody else, you don't really need a controller. You're so limited on what you can do. I've tried my best. I give up. I officially surrender on the controller. I don't want no part of it. I think if you're used to that controller, you'll enjoy those type things. But if you're not, you'll hate it. It's kind of cold in here, but it feels good. I'm just going to go sit around for a little while there. I, I'm not going to sit around for the meals. I'm not in a meal festive mood. I think even we're going to go sit on the couch. I don't want to sit in this chair. Get off of the bed. Go on out of here. Damn old cat. Uh. <laughs> oh God, here we go, a nice little seat. Oh God, yes. Oh, uh, what do you want to talk about? I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. It's good to see you too. And uh, yeah. Yeah, that's great, dude. Legion Go is going to go. I think so. It's a great backup device, but it's not a daily device. I'm thinking it's not. Hell. Yeah. I don't like it. Ugh. Good afternoon, David. How are you? It plays PUBG good, but no other games. Even on the PUBG, though, there's like how you, it's slow. You can't aim. The gun is the problem. It kind of sucks for aiming. should get dressed, take the laundry, and do this nonsense stuff now. If I sit here long, I'm going to get tired. Why no white shirt? Because I'm going to this wedding thing to, in a couple, about an hour and a half, two hours. I have to go out somewhere. Large coffee time. I think I will do that here in a minute. I'm not happy about it, no. <laughs> I'm really unhappy about this coming up event. I'm going to make it the best I can, but I'm not overly excited by no means. Uh...
We'll drink a cup of coffee. Maybe that'll make us some hoorah. Hoorah! Man, I bought this little keyboard. It sucks so bad. I hate anything that has to do with a wedding. I hate wearing a dress. I hear you. I got this keyboard. This thing is, is, is crappier than anything I've had lately. Check this thing out. This came on Amazon today. This keyboard. It's okay if you have to use it for a tablet or the Legion Go instead of entering all the numbers. Tell them you got sick. Yeah, I can't do that. I wish I could. I just can't bail on it. Uh, Bunny, hi. You're not a girl. You live in the U.S. Bunny is a truck driver. Speaking of truck drivers, I wonder where John's been. Can you see I'm lacking motivation? Your daughter's calling. Just change your number. Have you seen Joe GoFundMe? Yeah, I told Joe that was ridiculous. <laughs> I did see it. I thought it was ridiculous. That's the last thing he needs is an old four-wheel drive F-250. Page zero, what's up? That old car cost a fortune. He don't understand. It's just a waste of money and time. That ain't going to benefit him in no way. War is going to crash the stock market. Ain't no war coming. Joe wants somebody to help him buy this stupid ass old truck. It's just a dumber than hell. Just ne Anyway, don't matter. Just a dumber than hell idea. An F-250. I don't give a damn if it's free. That some bitch use a hundred dollars a day just in gas. I had one. That is, and plus the maintenance, those old four F two fifties, the ball joints, the brakes, the bearing. That some bitch will need eight thousand dollars worth of work. He just wouldn't listen though. I tried to talk to him, but he just doesn't. He got a whole big story. He just needs like a thousand dollars. That F two fifty four before is a big maintenance. I've had them. I had two of them. That's something that you, you can't pass a gas station. Uh, it's ready for the scrapyard. It, it ain't even worth nothing. It's Yeah, it's a scrapyard car, in my opinion. Yeah, it's definitely a scrapyard type car. Don't have no value. If it was free, it wouldn't be worth having. In my opinion, I said it's a bad idea. What's the link? He wants you to help him buy the truck, help him with a bad idea. He won't listen. It's a bad idea. We'll talk. I, I've already told him what I thought. If it's a good idea, I'll help. But it's a bad idea. I can't do it. How much? Uh, did he give? He didn't buy it yet. He needs to pay a seven hundred fifty dollars and two hundred fifty for paper. So a thousand dollars to get that old truck. Then the insurance on a four wheel drive F two fifty. It'll be more than the truck is worth. He just don't. He don't really have anything. Learning can be a painful process. Yeah, but it's enough. Uh, 
I'm glad Saudi helped America shooting drones down. I don't know what happened. I haven't been watching that. I'm not. I don't. It don't matter to me what they did. Insurance taxes. He gonna have to sell it left. But yeah. Anyway, I ain't getting involved in a bad decision. That's just the way it is. He'll be lucky. I don't want to be involved in no bad decision that I already know is a bad decision. It may be the worst. Maybe the worst decision of a decade. Usually a problem like that, liability insurance is going to be about 120 a month. It'll be higher than hell on that old truck. I will not donate to it because he cannot maintain it. Yeah, he can. I would rather spend half a year in Asia than a broken old truck. Yeah, he... We can't talk. His priority is, is sideways. Living with them hillbillies, he's all fucked up in the brain. You can't fill that truck with $80, Scott. It's $120. It's high. $80 won't even give you half a tank in that car. What's up, Black Arrows? I, I was on the server a little while ago. I was trying to move the car to the base camp. Time I got to the camp, it was gone. The marker's missing. I don't know what happened. The damn marker for, did you reset it or something? The camp was gone. Or the marker's gone. I can't find it. I gave up. Chilled out a while. Hmm. Stuff happens, you know. 600 if you fill the other tank. Yeah. Camp may be gone. I think it's probably there. I just not marked. You're in Saudi Arabia. Americans are proud they helped us out. Helped who out what? I, what are you talking about, dude? I don't care about none of that stuff. <laughs> Nobody cares about all that. Yeah. It had nothing to do with me. You give me the coordinates, okay. Yeah, I don't care what's going on in Israel. I don't care what's going on in Iran. I don't care what's going on in Ukraine. I don't care about none of that stuff. I, <laughs> I don't believe in any of that nonsense. Uh, matter of fact, ain't none of it my business. What about Trump trials? I don't matter. They can do whatever they want. They're going to do whatever they want forever. It doesn't affect me either. None of it I care about. I'm non-political. I'm non-governmental. I don't care about any of it. As long as they don't fuck with me, I'll be all right. Really. I don't do no political nonsense. I don't care about no religion. I don't care if you kiss boys, girls, goats. I don't care if you wear rainbows and fly around on a carpet. It don't matter. You can dress like your sister, dress like your brother, your mother. I don't care. <laughs> Everybody got such agenda stuff nowadays. It don't. It's just like, yeah, okay, great. The boy who cried wolf has cried wolf one too many times. You know what I mean? I've had enough of it. Everybody got some kind of agenda nowadays for some reason. There's some story related to another story. Hell, I don't give a shit about it. It's hilarious. 
all the topics and the headlines on the news. It'll crack you up. It'll crack you up, make you smile. I don't trust either side. I don't trust nobody. They're all full of it. Media is corrupt. Apologists are just trying to keep your eyes. Yeah, they are. What are the headlines in Saudi? I don't know. I don't watch TV. I don't watch news. I don't look at a newspaper. I don't look at anything. I don't know what's going on. Something's happening that's bad, and somebody's called let me know because I won't know anything about it. I don't look at anything. I look at the headlines on Google News once a week or two weeks. Or if somebody tells me about something going on, maybe I'll look it up. I like being uninformed. I prefer to live that way. I don't need a bunch of knowledge about a bunch of shit that don't matter to me, personally. If it don't affect me or my family, I don't think it's, it matters to me at all. <laughs> it don't affect me, so it don't matter. Everybody needs to be that way. You shouldn't care. If it doesn't affect you, you just need to think it doesn't matter. They got your brain all busy with a bunch of bullshit. All that shit don't matter. You want something to talk about, look between your legs. Tell somebody about it. That'll be more exciting than what's going on somewhere else on the other side of the world. You know, I'm lucky I grew up in a family that had zero politics. We never gave a shit about no politics. It's not even talked about in our house. Nobody gave a damn. Since I was a kid, nobody ever talked about it. I'm a big fan of all I think. So yeah, nobody in our family, even growing up, no, I never heard anybody talk about no politics. I even have a cousin who's a senator. He never mentioned a word about no politics. Never even talked about it. He was a congressman, senator. He was a big politician, but he never talked about it. Around that, we never heard nothing about it. It was never a topic discussed. The biggest campaign I can remember as a child control you, you got some control. The biggest campaign I only remember is a campaign between Nixon and McGovern. Apparently, that was the first time I'd seen election signs and yelling people about politics ever in my life. Uh, other than that, I don't remember anything. For some reason, that campaign sticks out in my mind because I remember the signs were everywhere. Nixon versus McGovern. I was a baby or young kindergarten. I don't know. I was something. I was very young, but I remember signs everywhere. I remember their campaign slogan. <laughs> the campaign slogan for Nixon was Nixon, Nixon, he's our man. Throw McGovern in the garbage can. <laughs> Late night, you in the Filipino six years ago. Yeah, we we ain't been out there in a while. Uh, that was their slogan. That's maybe why I remembered it. Was I thought it was funny back when we were kids. We must have lived near some political people. I don't know how I got that in my brain. As long as you don't cross my landline, we won't have problems. <laughs> Who lives in Denver? Anybody here live in Denver? Randy, you got the camp location in the email. Okay, thanks. I'll find it when I get there. Why did the marker disappear, I wonder? 
Maybe I didn't upload something when I redid it. That's weird how the marker was gone. What was funny, I was driving to it and it just disappeared from the screen. Did I accidentally press a few keys wrong and make it disappear? I don't know. Very weird. Daisy's okay, but I still can happen. It's a mud. Maybe it will come back. It may be back when I get on again. What's funny is it disappeared while I was driving to it. I've been watching a couple of uh, Daisy YouTube streamers. They mostly don't stream it live. They play Daisy and then they edit it. Frank stealing your loot again. <laughs> I haven't seen Frank in a month. Is he still playing on PUBG? I haven't even been on the PUBG mobile. I think I got on the other day for a few minutes. I only like PUBG PC now. He's still there. I've been watching some Day's Eve players. Yeah, there's some good players. Your base looking great. Yeah, but you got to build a fortress, not just a place in the sticks. What was the name of the kid with the guitar? We had Adele and... Uh, <laughs> Hell, I don't remember. What was the dude's name with the guitar? Debbie, what was the name? Adele and... I can't even remember his name. That's bad, isn't it? Romel. That Romel. They ain't kids anymore. You got to hit the road. All right. Have fun, Scott. Yeah. Romel, I think, is doing good. Adele, he ain't doing too good. <laughs> He's just back to normal. Romel's doing fine. I think Adele now. At least I think not. I don't know. Uh, today, I was bored and I was uh, on the Tor browser trying to look around at onion sites. What is the purpose of the onion sites in the Tor browser? You can't find nothing on there. And everything you find is just stupid. The dark, so-called dark web, it ain't dark. It's just stupid. <laughs> I don't really it's a silly thing there's nothing on there I mean you must have you'd have to know exact 100 numerics man did you find one Daisy's is right now 40% off there you go you guys better buy it while you can Adele's still chasing now I don't know what he's doing that's the dark web. The dark web is silly. I have the Tor browser and I was looking around. I was trying to look at the, something that you, it was the, you know, we used to have 4chan, then they had to move to the onion called 8chan. It's not there no more. Everything you go to look is gone. It's mostly people selling drugs and porn. There's no regular, there's nothing there. I only use it to watch a German TV. I put in German TV. I put in TV and movies. Couldn't find nothing. Everything that I went to look at was down or no longer there. I guess you have to have really know what you're doing to search that thing. I tried three or four searching things. It didn't work at all. It's slow and clunky. Dark web run by the government. All the internet was invented by the government. Even the internet that you use now was a military thing. It was all invented by the government for comms and stuff. 
I mean, human being don't mess around. If you see porn, just go to Chris Tech. <laughs> there you go. I was searching around all sorts of stuff. It was all just silly nonsense. Every ninety percent of all links to this site, they're all broken. It seems like drug dealing people. Those are the ones that are there. And something to do with laundering Bitcoin. There's a hundred bit, I forget what they call them. People who launder or wash Bitcoin money or something. I don't know what they're doing. I wasn't interested, so I didn't open the links and look at it. Something to do with Bitcoin deals. Where I guess people were laundering or I don't know what they're doing. Something. I don't trust VPNs either. False sense. A VPN is just to change a location. It's not for security. <laughs> it's never been for security. That's just what those things tell you to try to buy shit. VPN is not for security. It's just to pick your location. Everything else is not, it ain't going to help you. Yeah. I have my AC and on the dark website to control it from far away. Okay. Yeah, you can do that also with H-Y-D-Y-N or what, H I forget. I haven't done any of that crap in years. I look, board hackers play with VPNs, do they? Yeah, I don't know, I don't use them. My dad's still kicking it. He's in Florida, having a good life. I wanted to buy a computer from Denver, but they don't ship to Saudi. I need to get somebody. Maybe I'll tell them to ship it to my sister-in-law, and then she can send it to me. That's what I'll do. I just thought about that. Damn, they can ship it to my sister-in-law. Remember him in uh, Cebu with a young girl? Yeah. Don't touch the blue capacitor on the TV. It'll kill you. Hmm. I'm going to look back at this computer. I'm doing an experiment. I wanted to be an engineer. You can be an engineer. Go to school, learn about something. That's a good start. Old John has a better view than most of us. Yeah, he's doing a good, he's living in a good place. Actually, I think I will, Myrna, hello. Your dad has some game. He still does. Got to take care of them. Okay. I need to go. I need somebody who has connection in, in Taiwan. Let me look it up. You know, all the computers you buy are actually only from one company and they just have different branding on them. I need to get, I want to, I need to find out who is in charge of this so I can contact them. The company is called Clover. They make the, the computers for everybody. That's the factory for everybody. And they sell but I haven't found the Clover purse. The manufacturer, the main ones in Taiwan. Test to see if I'm living right. 
How do you test to see you're living right? He's not a bass player, he's a bass fisherman. He fishes. Bass like fish, not bass like instrument. That must be in Taiwan. It is in Taiwan. There's I'm looking for the Taiwan site though. It's better just to go to System 76. That's why it's System 76. Prince, what's happening? sent me the uh, I got I sent these people an email they said they don't ship to Saudi it's a bunch of nonsense It's rained heavily in Bahrain today and last night. Same here. Wind was crazy. I thought the door was going to blow off the house. I'll never forget where I was when the first time I saw a fainting goat. <laughs> uh, I don't recall the fainting goats, but I've seen them. Did the prayers keep the dumbasses away? Semi. <laughs> The desert, the desert does bloom big time. They, I can order it, but they won't ship here. I, I can order it and have them ship to Denver. I mean, ship to California, then here. Was on YouTube an apartment where I used to live. Oh. Uh. I was with you during your many visits to Saudi where you're brave to film it live, yeah? You haven't changed the t-shirt yet. No, because I gotta go somewhere. I gotta go to a wedding reception. In about an hour, I gotta leave. I'll stream it while we're there. You can check it out. I want to buy a System76 laptop. just to play with. It's probably a stupid thing to do. I already downloaded their software and I booted up and ran their uh, Pop OS on a live edition. Yeah, I'm getting married. <laughs> I married two girls from Sudan. You got a laptop to just get your fingers sweaty, yeah. I married two girls from Sudan. Twins. <laughs> What's the ULR? Just, yeah, check it out. Here it is. They actually do their own OS and everything. This company is an awesome. It's called System76. Check them out. System76.com See what you think about it. Buy two of them and I'll buy one from you. Tell me which one you're going to buy. 
They have anything and everything you want. But their secret is they make their own bios and software. So they're really like a Freedom Linux, pure OS, pure deal operating system. It's a, it's a, a fiddle farted around in Bootu, but it's their own. Yeah, I wanted to marry two girls from Sudan so I can have double Dutch chocolates. I'll marry one from each side. Whatever them tribe people's fighting, that'll keep the house lively. What are they fighting each other? What well, they got the hooties and the cooties or the shooties? What do they got over there? Those two ethnic people that's fighting in Sudan, they got a problem too. That was on the, somewhere on the news. Sudan is having another total collapse again. They're fighting their own. They're fighting each other. I don't know what it is, the hooters and the cooters or the hooties and the cooties or whatever they're called. They're fighting like hell over there. Most people in the U.S. don't even know Sudan is a place. <laughs> That's probably true. The funny thing is, Sudanic people are the nicest people in the world. I ain't never met a Sudanic guy that was violent. Most humble, good people. I don't see how their whole country's at war. Too much, 1300 for an Intel GPU. It's not about that. You're missing the sea. When you read stuff, you don't understand the whole package. You're looking at a processor. That's the least important part. The thing is their custom BIOS and their custom operating system. That's what you're looking at, made into their customly ordered devices. I'm looking at exactly the price don't mean anything. The price is not the important part. It's the configuration of the laptop. The GPU don't matter. This is a Linux machine running Linux, open source BIOS, open source software, and they're doing the updates. It's like the founding of Microsoft in the 1980s. You could call a support team an engineer. It's just a different vibe, man. It's more of a community type thing. It's not a big retailer. You got to understand the whole deal and what it's about. It's a cult type thing. Yeah, it's culty. People are into it. What would you do with Linux? I've run Linux at work for five years. You can do everything with Linux. Linux is, is perfect. Everything when it's configured properly runs better and nicer. Really. I was going to install Linux today. I figured out how to write. I wrote the Linux kernel to the USB and booted it on live. And I played with their Pop OS today for about an hour and a half. I would like to be a reseller for this company, but this company don't work deal with Saudi. That's funny. They deal with the UAE, but not Saudi. I wonder why. I don't understand why they don't do that. Maybe somebody else already has the rights here and they can't interfere. Tesla dashboard could use an update. Yeah. Linux at home sucks. It's only good for servers deep. No, man. You don't understand. Linux has changed. You got to find the right configured system. It even games better than anything else. Not ma it happens a lot of great games. Call of all sorts of things work on it now. It's totally changed. I use Linux for years. I just hate the command line. Try to get shit put in and installed and then making it work kind of sucks. But they they have it all figured out now in a GUI interface, which makes it easier. Before, Linux was all command prompt install bullshit. It was terrible. You never could, you'd always write something wrong. Yeah. When I used to have to use the, the damn terminal window to do everything, I get so pissed. I had to turn on and off my VPN and antivirus through the terminal window. Then I forget the commands and I didn't write them down and that damn thing would run forever and I didn't know how to shut the damn stuff off. Are the roosters still in, in Cebu House? The roosters is everywhere. Philippines got more 10 to 1 now. They've increased. Roosters is heavily populating the whole country.
Well, God, this is a burden, me getting ready to go somewhere. Whew. I'm working up my, uh, hopefully a cup of coffee may give me a little energy. I'm just weirdly tired today, man. My sleep last night was just so interrupted. I cannot get motivated. I don't have any energy. I have no energy at all. This is, this is sad. I need motivation. I'm trying to get motivated. Have you been to Vietnam before? Yeah, Vietnam's cool. Stinks a little, but it's cool. Saigon has a stench about it. <laughs> it smells, the whole country smells like a fish sauce. It really does. Everywhere you go, you smell that. They use a lot of fish and oyster sauce, and the air everywhere smells like it. Have you been to Vietnamese places? You know there's a smell. The whole country smells that way. As soon as you walk down in the morning, it's like, it's kind of rank, you know? Like dirty coder smell. The whole country smells like a dirty coder. It's kind of weird. And everywhere you go, even their noodle houses, they're pouring on that fish and oyster sauce. It's a pungent, rotten fish sauce. And that's like the main ingredient in everything. Their coffee's good. They make coffee with like half coffee and half condensed milk. And when you wake up, they give you a glass of iced green tea followed up by their nice coffee. Their routine is real nice. That refreshing green tea because of the heat and humidity over ice followed up with a coffee mixed with condensed milk it's, they actually have some nice stuff. But when I go to the restaurants, I have to tell them no oyster sauce because I can't sit there and eat it unless I hold my nose. It really smells. Their food is strong. If you don't smell it, you must have a good sniffer. I mean, a bad sniffer. It's, it's really pungent. You might buy a Bonobo. The Bonobo looks nice, yeah. So, can you get a good cheeseburger at Saudi? You can. We got a place called, what's it called, Burgerizer or something? There's a couple of good local hamburger joints here. But I just don't, I just buy the uh, Wagyu beef patties and cook them at home. I ought to buy some cheese to put on those. That would be nice. I came home and ate some smoked salmon, so I'm not in the mood to eat anything. You know what, Bunny TV? Buy two Bonabos and send me one as a gift, as a Father's Day gift. <laughs> I'd like to have that Bonobo WS 17 inch laptop. It's cool as hell. Do you still go to the cheap Indian restaurant? Not often. I went to there this week one time after Ramadan. That was it. I can't handle the spices. It burns out my bunghole. Makes my bunghole pucker up like a prune has been dried out and ran over. It's tough. They just don't know how to chill out on the spices, you know. No matter what you say, it's just going to be spicy. It doesn't matter how you tell them, can you please tone it down? Can you please make it less spicy? He don't listen. It does not say if it's an LCD or OLED. Write him an email. It will burn out your bunghole. That stuff is 
the little chilies that they cut up and put in their food is just too much. It burns twice going in and coming out. It's hardcore. And you know how it is when you're eating super spicy stuff? You look like a pig that's never had a meal. You got to keep eating like this because if you slow down, your mouth will be on fire. So you don't notice it once you get going as long as you keep eating. It's when you stop and breathe <laughs> that makes your mouth fall off your face. The problem is after you get all that down and your, the spices have come down, you can feel that food work all down your intestines. Yeah. You can feel that food work itself all through your intestinal tract. It's hardcore. It's really rough. Whew. Even I hear my stomach making noises. I can hear... Do I like Saudi food cops? I do, but I don't eat a lot of cops because I don't eat rice and bread. Yeah, I try to stay away from rice and bread. See how much it is maxed out everything is $6,500, and that includes the $200 carry case. I already maxed one out. You can max one out for $6,500, but ain't no way I can do that. I ain't doing that. Oh. What about the herbs and spices they put in? I love that stuff. That is fantastic. That's Their flavor is very unique. And all the flavors are unique. Depends on the region, you know. Kerala has a different flavor than another one. They all have a good flavor. You went to that place in Saudi for lunch and they gave you like six meats nonstop. Oh, that meat place? Yeah, I go there sometimes. No, I haven't been there in a long time. Because it's kind of expensive for lunch, you know. It's like a very occasional place. It's 40, 50 bucks for a lunch. It's too much. Yeah, it's too much. $50 or $40 for a lunch, that's just on different special occasions. I still can't believe a retail company said they don't want to ship to me in Saudi. I'm shocked about that. Why didn't they do business in Saudi? I'm just curious about that. What the hell is the problem? Bunch of nonsense. I, you know, I think what it is, they may have some kind of trade agreement with some of the partners and they're not allowed to sell some of their components in certain countries. They probably use parts and pieces from a different company and they say, no, that market, you're not allowed to sell there. That's our own market, something of that nature. I'm sure it has to do with that. Stolen credit cards, they all had a problem here. I think that's not it. I think it has to do with somebody has a uh, monopoly on a certain regions for certain pieces and parts. I'm sure that's what it is. That's the reply you got? Ship to me and I'll ship it to you. There you go. They don't ship to... I don't think Bahrain's on the list. I think UAE's on the list, but Bahrain's not there. I'm sure it has to do with manufacturer's agreements. They, manufacturers keep something called key accounts. And even if you're their master their distributor, you can't sell in certain regions because you're not part of that master program. And they keep regions for themselves due to marketing. I run into it all the time with different products and communications. Philippines, they, you can buy it in the Philippines. The problem is the Philippines has an import tax. It's like heavy duty. Their import tax in the Philippines is bullshit. Import tax in the Philippines is off the chain for electronics. They tax, the customs will tax the shit out of you. And there's no rhyme or reason. They just make up some tax. I don't know where they get their tax chart from. It can be hundreds of dollars. 
for some nonsense tax in the Philippines. <gasps> they got some outrageous customs tariffs in the Philippines based on the product, based on this. There's so many nonsense taxes there. Importing there is a nightmare. Biggest, whatever you need, you better take it with you. The taxes there are outrageous. And the local product there is always a lesser model than the rest of the world. Whereas Saudi, we get a better spec device for less money. Or the, the same spec as the best one, but for the regular price. Saudi has a good deal on the electronics. There's definitely a better deal here for specs versus what you get. Saudi's good about that. Every time here I buy stuff, it's better than the specs in the rest of the world. We get the better chip, the more memory, everything. Yeah, I'm not into Singapore. It's too uptight. Ain't no sense going to Singapore. It's just, it's like going to Karen's house. <laughs> Stay out of Singapore. They're too fanatics. Too cleanly, too much organ. It's just not very fun. Singapore ain't no good. Waste of time. Yeah, Singapore is not going to be doing you any favors. You better off in Malaysia than Singapore. Singapore is a stopover, one afternoon place. Some place, if you send, not put it together, you can uh, label it and dev kit. Yeah, I don't do all that nonsense. I ain't there to bend and cut the rules, you know? Kuala Lumpur is getting very clean now. Yeah, Malaysia's great, man. Go to Malaysia. There's, they got every culture in the world there. Singapore is a waste of time and money. Yeah, I've been to Iraq. Iraq sucks too. Ain't nothing in Iraq. <laughs> I'm not into Iraq. Ain't nothing there. Iraq is... I don't know what you do in Iraq. There ain't no reason to go there. I don't need no Iraq. Well, I forget how to boot your computer where you can dual boot it. I couldn't figure that out today. I was going to make my work PC dual boot, Windows and Linux, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. No, but I couldn't figure out how to install both for dual booting on Windows 11. There used to be commands to do that. I couldn't find them. I found directions for Windows 10 and before, but for Windows 11, I don't see a, how they do it. I can't find the plan. But I did find the best app in the world for writing ISO images to, to uh, USB sticks. Yeah. You can use one, the BIOS, or two in the boot manager. I have two hard drives in that computer, or two SD drives. I thought I could boot one to one drive and one to the other, but I can't find out choosing which to boot on. I couldn't figure it out. I did boot it using F11 and going on a live and ran it from the USB stick. It ran fast, but I was trying to figure out how to install it, and I couldn't figure it out. They removed it. Yeah, they removed it, but there's got to be a workaround. Use BIOS is easier solution. I don't know. It's driving me crazy today. I didn't know what all was missing from Windows 11 until so I started playing around the past week. They really trimmed down Windows 11. They took out all the bells and whistles that used to be cool to have. Press F5, F7, and select the boot device. Yeah, but I like it when I had a GUI and it would pop up, do well, you want to boot to Windows or you want to boot to Linux? That's not there anymore. You can't do that. I don't see that. That option's not available. It's something strange. 
boot manager, I guess. I don't want to go through all that, though. And by the way, I'm only doing this as something to do. There's no need for me to do any of this. I just like doing it and playing around. But I've been reading a lot about the new Linux and the new games that are going for Linux now that are ready to be used on Linux and the experience people are having. And I would like to play with it. I'd like to fart around with it, see how good it is. You know what pisses me off? Windows and that stupid backup thing. You can't, you can't delete the browser. You can't delete this. Windows has some shit in there that just won't go away. No matter what you turn off, they randomly advertise. How about uh, you build a whole laptop? You don't. What you do is you just call a, the the Clover makes laptops for everybody. They'll sell you a disassembled one, but there's no benefit in it. Building your own laptops just nonsense. Costs you more than buying a completely done one from a boutique manufacturer than it would. All of the laptops come from a company called Clover. I don't care what laptop you think you have and what brand you think you have. It's made by a company in Taiwan called Clover. And they make them for all the manufacturers. You can look at the Clover laptops and you can buy them generic, no branded. They're the same chassis, the same as every other per every other manufacturer. Bestware, we'll have to check that out. But I like this System 76 because they maintain their own OS. And I like that. That's a unique thing to maintain your own operating stuff. All right, let's get shoes on go to the bathroom, get the laundry down, and then we'll go to this wedding thing. Hallelujah. Uh. I wear my socks inside out. <laughs> you know why I wear my socks inside out? I always grab my socks and I switch them inside out because that little part where they sew the sock together there, I can feel that on my foot. So I always grab my socks and turn them inside out when I put them on. I don't like that little seam where they sew your socks together. I can feel that on my feet. I hate that feeling. I've been wearing my socks inside out for years. <laughs> my feet must be sensitive. I don't know. little sensitive. Yeah, it's just something I don't like. You buy seamless socks. I wish I could find comfortable seamless socks. I can't find them. That's a great idea. Got to try that. Yeah, that's what I do, Jane. I just turn them inside out. That way that little line doesn't bother my foot. But you got to have a sock that's all the way through one color or it looks weird. You hate them too. They're thick. Yes, they are. All right. I think what we're gonna do for this wedding, we're gonna use the iPhone and tether it to this phone so we can use the damn uh, camera that doesn't shake. I have the iPhone with the broadcasting, what is it called? I don't know, anyway, it makes everything not shake. Stabilizer, special stabilizer that's really nice. It looks cinematic. All right, let me use the bathroom. Then we'll grab a bunch of stuff and get out of here. Need to put everything back in its place, damn it.
Tina, what are you doing? What do you want? I done gave you that salmon and stuff. You ought to be fine. Diddy, I want food. They ain't my cat. I don't gave him the scraps. That's it.
I think I'll take a quick shower. Hey man, would you mind recording that? I'm doing a scientific study. Really? I hope it says me. <laughs> Everybody else coming home from work just now. I've already been home. Whoop whoop. It rained all last night. Thunder and lightning and wind. It was like torrential storm last night. weird storm. It was loud and lightning and electrical and everything. It was a big old storm that all combined into a whole night of just crazy weather. It worked. Be right back. See you soon. Hello and good day to you. We're rolling, man. We got to run a couple errands. Abdul Karam Salah, hello, hello, cable hug. Oh boy. Here we come, Mr. Laundry Man. Laundry Man, Laundry Man. Cleaning my clothes as you can. Get our laundry taken care of. That way uh, I can have good, clean clothes tomorrow afternoon.
looks so nice and green right now. That rain has really got things popping. The medium is green, the trees is green. these trees down the middle of the road get big, it'll look really nice with these trees over the road. I wonder how many years or if they'll be able to get big enough without people running them over all the time. So many people run off the road. Where's the old laundry dude at? Damn, I don't see him. Where is he? Sir! Thank you. Never come. All right, laundry dude is there. That's over with. Okay, now let's work our way to the other side of town in the area where this wedding thing is. I really don't know where it's at. It's on this phone here. We may have to, uh, I don't, I'll figure out how to do it in a minute. I'll drive to the area where it's at slowly take it over there. We got an hour. It's only 20 minutes away. Well, we get to that side of town. You know, it took me quite a few weeks to train him to come out to the car and bring my stuff. It took me a while. That was a training exercise to get the hell boy to come out all the time. He wanted to just stand there and look silly, but he can just walk out. They don't have no parking. He can come out and help the customer. It's different if you got plenty of parking. It must be a boss of some type where you wouldn't... Yeah, that's it. It is. Is he a dog? You got to train people. People, You got to train people just like a dog. People need training. And just like any other dog, some things are untrainable. Which reminds me. I gotta have a talk.
and subliminally or discreetly you can train anybody to do anything you want it just takes a little bit of work social engineering combined with some good training with some rewards and some deprivation there's all sorts of intriguing things you can do to train somebody to your way of thinking you can do it some takes longer than others and before you know it they're doing what you wanted them to do and even they will they won't be able to figure out I don't know why I do this for this guy but I just did <laughs> yeah it's the son of the CEO uh, if there's anybody else I wouldn't be going but his son I've known him since he was young I've known him all for years so it's a pretty good thing but if it was a stranger or some other invite, I wouldn't go. Some AI acceler accelerated stimulus response patterns at use. Well, that's true too. wedding place I'm gonna stop at this company up here that sells some chairs my office chair at home was already broken it didn't last one year and a half damn thing already not already bent and warped damn thing is not comfortable anymore it was a one-year chair or has it been two years I can't remember if it's one year or two years since it's been bad it may have lasted two years. So that chair will last in two years. Now it's all bent, warped, wiggling, making creaking noises. Them chairs is made for people who weigh one, 100 pounds, not 300. <laughs> chairs ain't made for my size people. They get wore out. Now, some people use a chair until the damn cushion is no longer even in existence. It's one year only. Damn. So that chair only lasted a year. Well, that's about it. One damn year. It's on its way out the door already. I hate to even buy one, but I need one. figure out where that store is up here. Damn, that sucks. It only lasted a year. Maybe I ought to bring the chair down here and tell them to tighten it up, fix it. A year seems awfully... A chair ought to last longer than that. Hell, I remember when we were kids, we had chairs for 10 years, never had them wore out or no problems. These chairs today are crap. And I'm surprised, usually the first thing that breaks on those old chairs is the damn hydraulics. But that didn't break. It's still fine. But that's usually the first thing that goes out on those chairs, is that hydraulic cylinder. They start really nice, and then with time, they seem to just, they go dead. But this time, that didn't happen. good chair soon Steve you'll be let's see how long it'll last you I hope it I hope you think it's comfortable some of them nice chairs are not really comfy or cozy
They may look good. Somebody talks good about it, but a lot of times they don't set good. I had a damn really nice ergonomic medical blah, blah, blah chair. That thing was terrible. The seat was made of mesh and it had all these supports. Oh, it was so terrible. It was like sitting on patio furniture. And it was a very good high-end chair. I hated it. <laughs> Some special Korean company made this. They're real popular in Asia. Boy, it's terrible. It was really bad. the problem we're still suffering from the COVID believe it or not there used to be 20 of every business but the COVID put most of them out of closed so now we only got a few selection of stores not like before you used to have 10 places to shop now you got one due to COVID the companies that didn't have money all shut down and lost everything dude don't let me over I got over He trying to not let me over. A little horsepower is nice to have when you need it. being blinded by, be blinded by the light that sun is wearing me out it is hurting me a lot of places closed in the u.s also yeah they never opened back up either there used to be five ten of every store not anymore only a few were able to handle it That's why when these places tell me about a warranty, I don't want to hear your bullshit. You be out of business in six days, your warranty don't mean jack. A lot of these places preach to you about this great warranty. It don't matter if you're out of business, your warranty means nothing. They go out of business, boom, warranty's over. They're, it's a faith-based warranty. You hope they stay in business. Yeah, there's empty buildings everywhere. You know what? Even a lot of the retail places, a lot of the buildings are not needed. Even people shouldn't even be going to an office. You should let most people work from home. All these office spaces and commercial places, they're not even needed anymore. In my opinion, they're obsolete. We're in a modern world. Most people can work from home. Man, the only chair to place is up here on the left. I thought there was another one. This one up here on the left, I don't even like this guy's stuff. It's junk. Yeah, that guy's stuff is all junk. I thought there was another one up here on the right. If I'm on the right street, hell, I can't remember. All these places start looking the same. I could have swore there was one somewhere around here. Am I on the right street? I can't never figure it out. It'd help if I could read half the signs. I can't read half the signs, so I don't really know where I'm at most of the time. I gotta do it all by memory. And you can't put the name into Google if you don't know how to spell it or even what it means. Tyler the Great. Well, maybe he's gone. I thought it was somewhere around here. I don't see it no more. I'll be damned. All right. I don't know what happened. I guess I'm wrong. It's not here. Oh, 
lower. I can't see now. Your name is like Randy Horton, WWE. Actually, I'm older than him, so he took my name. I wonder if his real name is Randy or he just says it is. I never did look it up and see if that's his real name. He copied me. He sure did. Copycat bastard. We ought to fight about it. Randy Horton versus Randy Orton live on CNN at the, the Detroit Sports Arena. can't tell one business from another over here. Sure there's a lot of barber shops when you start looking. But welcome back, Miss Tina. You're just in time. Watch this moron hit me head on. Which President Trump has a special guest that we can do that? I sure as hell can't find that place or the chair place. I'm SOL. I wonder where the heck it is. I can't believe I can't find this place. I could have swore it was right around here. I'll keep beeping at me. Damn, look at the crowded people out. I think I'll go the other way. I ain't that important right now. We'll just go this way. Too much people everywhere. Huh. Hiya, 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 hiya. Cup of Joe is in the house. Whoopity whoop doop doop doop. Cup of Joe, have you heard the consensus? We have a consensus to explain to you. <laughs> Would you like to hear a consensus and an opinion that's been brought about by the community that reflects you directly? Let me know when you're ready to hear it. I'll pull over up here. All right. We have a consensus. The community has looked upon your request and they have determined that that vehicle is nothing but trouble. And that is not the vehicle to get. And that, they don't want to assist you in making a mistake. They had a community discussion about it. So that's the community consensus. People say that maybe that's just, you don't understand the insurance, the maintenance, and that type of a vehicle, it's a hell. It's really a big deal. The parts and everything triple the amount. Share the link for Mr. to have a look. Share the link, okay, he can share it. Somebody share the link. Everybody's saying, Joe, Sharon, please shop around. Yeah, every, the consensus is that car is a trouble. You just don't know. I've had two or three of those trucks. That son of a bitch, because it's an F-250 heavy duty, just anything you need to fix is going to cost four times more for the parts. It's just not worth it. Now, what is your rebuttal? 
I'm giving you the consensus so you don't think people is just ignoring you. They aren't ignoring you. They're ignoring the vehicle. Maybe your roommates has put pressure upon you. Yo, 77002. But there was a con consensus that that thing is just too, it's just a headache. Can't afford a new one and I need something. Yeah, but that it, that is not going to work though. Hauling around a 150 or something cheaper has to be a pickup. Well, that's fine, but not an F-250 four-wheel drive. You just don't understand the amount of money it takes to upkeep that thing. That suck of a bitch is a nightmare. Really, it's a nightmare, brother. <laughs> You'll be sad and lonely after you get that thing. That thing will wear you out. Okay, we got to pull over here. I'm lost. We got to stop here one minute. thousand dollar more 150 Ford will be eight thousand dollars less to maintain I don't think you're listening about f-250 and what they're going to charge you on that four-wheel drive uh. anyway we just want to be honest because you're our friends, so. Chuck, you're the biggest truck out there. Hey, man, you don't understand them old Ford 250 work trucks. I know about them. That son of a bitches are a nightmare to keep running. I bought one and it cost me $8,000 a year to keep it maintained. Yeah, $8,000 a year to maintain an old F-254 before. That's the cost. $8,000 a year just in maintenance. And we did most of the work ourselves. It's not cheap. And it's about $100 a week in gas, even if you don't drive much. They're tough. No, we're not picking up driving. Uh, we're uh, we're going to a wedding hall, but the wedding hall is in my phone that I'm talking on, so I have to find uh, the directions. All right, let me look the directions up real quick on my phone. If the broadcast cuts off, I'll be right back. All right, let me look up where this wedding hall is. Hold on just a minute. I'll be right back. Let's see. Don't be scary, Randy. We'll be right back. Yeah, we'll see you in a second. Where is it at now? Oh, you're still down here. What's up? All right, let me see. I got to go to this other app to find it. There it is. Now we got to go here. Then we gotta click on this. Uh, the damn link ain't opening up. How in the hell am I gonna find it? Maybe this phone can't do two things at once. It won't 
let me find it some reason. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do now? All right, I got to turn the broadcast off. It won't let me find the location. Oh, wait, it's coming. Dynamic link is not found. Oh, go, Lord. It can't find the link. Try another app. You can't find the damn li link. I thought I had Google Maps here somewhere. Google Maps. There's the maps. Put in this link. Just perfect now. I'm supposed to go somewhere now. I don't even know where it is. Let me see again. We'll try one more time. Okay, I gotta hang up the broadcast. I can't find it on the map. I'll be back in a minute. Something's wrong. See you in a minute.